Hello dear students, very good morning. Today we are going to learn a few aspects of writing section. I will tell you about writing notices. But before we go on to learn writing notices, let me tell you a few basic objectives of writing, the two basic aims of writing. You must have heard of Francis Bacon, the father of modern discursive essays in English. He said, reading make it a full man, conference a ready man, writing an exact man, developing an exact man out of a student can only be done through proper writing exercises. A student needs to learn the art of writing. Therefore, the two basic aims of writing are developing general language proficiency through writing and making a student exact. The question that comes to our mind, why do students hesitate to write? Why do not they want to write more? The first, those students who do not have enough practice, they lack content. They are poor at thought. And therefore, their expressions do not come out clearly. And that makes them hesitate. So, then, how should this hesitation be done away with? Let us now see how to overcome this hesitation. To overcome this hesitation, end-to-end -end exercises are needed. Doing lesson-based writing tasks first, discussing the writing tasks in class orally, make good students speak out the answers, now ask the students to attempt the writing task. General writing tasks, the teacher can do some brainstorming activities, the teacher can give some valuable inputs, assign written tasks to a class and not as a homework, classwork is more important. The teacher in the meantime can move around in the classroom, motivate students by his words that yes, you are doing good, you are writing very nice and the teacher should never be harsh. Oral work must precede writing work. That is, we need more of writing work. Now, I will tell you about the five C's, the contents of writing. What actually constitutes of a good writing. Clarity, conciseness, completeness, correctness and courtesy. The first, clarity. By clarity we mean clarity of thought and clarity of expression. Clarity of thought, that is what we have to write, how we have to write. The core points should come clearly and the relevant details should fall in place. To give a good expression, we should always uh, adhere to what has been asked in the question paper. Like if we are trying to attempt a CBSE or an examination, we must take care of the marks allotted, we must take care of the word limit given. So that will make our writing exact, precise. To achieve conciseness, include only relevant point. Do not uh, write more or less or you just go on writing and remember while writing write to write less convey more write to express not to impress you should never write to impress the completeness of the topic would mean you have to ponder over the interrogative pronouns what when why who 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 normally how and why are not so much into consideration but they can also come into the consideration as required by the content of the writing. So we need to be complete by thinking over all these and when you are writing notices or letters, say formal, you must think of who, what, when, where, why, sometimes how, how much, how many and why. After that, you must take care of the punctuations, you must take care of your spellings, you must take care of the facts and contents you are put, putting in and altogether that grammatical correctness must be there. While trying to attempt writing, we must try to avoid some of the things, avoid some of the things like putting in any aspect, any content which contains some gender bias, some social bias, some say bias on the basis of caste, creed or something of that sort that may hurt the feelings religion wise or 
by casteism etc etc so must avoid those things while putting on a good writing piece students writing must contain coherence fluency and accuracy and at the same time students should avoid repetition omission etc sometimes it often happens we are faltering for ideas what we do is go on putting in the same thing time and again time and again or sometimes when we do not have enough to write we are per repeating our sentences our expressions so we should avoid that at the same time we should not eat up words or that is what we call omission you should try to write clearly so that your expression is good enough coming to the notice writing part writing notices so now we come to writing a notice if i tell you writing a notice is there in the curriculum say from something like class 4 onwards to class 12 you have to write the question even comes in the 10th board examination the question comes in the 12th board examination but the type differs we'll discuss in a moment now notice if you see the word n o t i c e notice it can be used as a verb it can be used as a noun as a verb notice means to see or to observe witness something as a noun it refers to some piece of information at the primary or the middle level say class 4 to class 7 8 you normally have informal notices informal notices like on the school notice board you put up a notice regarding you have lost something or found something for that that is lost and found notices etc but at the secondary or the senior secondary level we have formal notices formal notices in fact i should tell you that carries the effect of an order that is always from a higher designation to a lower one the teacher gives a notice to the students the school captain gives a notice to the other students so it's from a hierarchy to the lower ones and therefore it contains the effect of an order and as in english as we say orders must start in the passive voice therefore for the secondary and the senior secondary level it is important that we start our notices in passive voice passive voice means using the auxiliary of that tense and the past participle form of the verb if you go according to the definition part notice is a written piece of communication as far as cbse curriculum is concerned you must put the notice in a box you need to put it in a box if you do not put it in a box you are missing out something your marks can be deducted you need to put it in a box but i often suggest my students don't draw the full box on four sides draw it three sides so that when you complete you can draw the lower part once you have drawn the full four sides sometimes it happens you have to exceed or too much space is left that looks awkward so draw three sides of the box and on completion join the fourth side avoid using first and second person in notice use the third person instead stick to the word limit say 50 or 40 words limit you have given stick to that apart from that format includes writing the name of the institution on the top thereafter the word notice then we write the heading of the notice what the notice is all about on one side we give the date and thereafter the body of the notice starts and at the end of the notice we give the name or the authorized signatory and the designation of the signatory content of the notice will contain the date time venue of what is to happen who is to do that so once again to complete the content you have to think over the interrogative pronouns who what when where whose how and why as i told you are normally omitted but they can two can be included i will give you some examples that you can see in the slides here there are two questions given and how these notices will be written you can very well see it suppose you are the cultural in charge of your school and you are given to write a notice how that notice will be written this 
and there is another question that you can have so you will see this in the uh, notice this is an example of how a notice can be written dear students i am now going to give you an example of how to write a notice by writing it suppose you have a question before you like this question that i am giving you was asked in the cbsc class 12th examination this very year the question was you are dhruv uh, or nidhi student editor of your school magazine the buds write a notice in not more than 50 words to be placed on your school notice board inviting short stories articles poems etc from students of all classes for the school magazine give all necessary details so this question was asked this very year so you can understand how important notice is it comes in every examination so i'll just write it down before you and show it how to write it in order to write a notice first we need to draw a box like whatever pen you have in your hand take that and thereafter we start drawing a box as i told you earlier we'll draw the box on only three sides of it we'll leave the fourth side incomplete do not uh, start taking a sketch pen or some other color pen that will be sheer wastage of time as you have seen the question before the name of the institution will first come on top so we can write it in block letters in the best possible handwriting that gives you an additional edge over the others a good hand dav public school name of the place must follow the name of the school that is moti hari thereafter in the next line in the mid this is also to be centralized we have to calculate an equidistance on both sides and thereafter similar is in the case with the next line notice the word notice also in block letters thereafter we have to give a heading to the question suppose uh the question before us was you were dhruv or uh, nidhi of uh, the student editor of the school magazine you were inviting write ups for the school magazine so you can give a heading say the heading can be in title case title case means that the first letter of each word should be capital write up for the school magazine okay fine thereafter you'll have to give the date suppose today is uh, the 15th of march we should write the date in language format towards this side of the page 15th march 2020 you can underline the date thereafter we start with the content of the body of the notice the body of the notice as i told you that notices in the plus 2 section are uh orders from a hierarchy given to the low ones therefore it carries the effect of an order and hence it must that is imperative sentences must start in the passive so we'll maintain that passive flow all the students are hereby informed that the school is soon going to publish the new edition of our school magazine our school magazine the buds
instruct students it is this place where you have to think who what when where who is to do what so students who want to get their short stories short stories articles poems drawings etc published me submit the same to the undersigned latest by latest by 25th march 25th march 2020 say give the time also 1 pm okay the write ups further information being given the write ups must be must be original and indigenous indigenous and can be handwritten or typed neatly on a4 size paper and should contain all details all details about the student along with a passport size photograph photograph try not to rush to the sides of the boxes writing as drop the student editor that is the name and then the designation so that completes our notice all information has been given inside who what who is to give what the students to whom it is to be given when it is to be given and so on so <clears throat> leave a line at the bottom and thereafter close your box so this completes your notice the same notice is typed and put before you in uh, as a powerpoint presentation notices can be written and i think it will help you in the times to come thank you tell me pretty lies look me in the face tell me that you love me even if